que reaccionan a los sensores. You need to take, I will show you four exercises to make your invert. And as a bonus, I will include how you go into a flare and from there into an invert. I'll show you strength exercises. They can both be done on spinning or static pose. So you can choose which one you want. So the first ones are just lifts. So doing this will help you train to get your legs higher and also train your abs overall and your hands straight. So first one is you're going to walk onto the pole like you're doing an invert. Come onto your toes and try to lift your knees. So doing this will help you get the strength in your hands that you need and it will also help you get your core strong. So I recommend doing five to ten times or you can do five plus five plus five. The other variation you can do, which is a bit harder, is trying to open the legs. So when you're here, you open the legs and try to lift the same way using the same muscles. If these are too hard for you, what you can do is you can do a jump in and lower really slowly. So doing a negative. So basically, coming here, jump and coming down super slowly. These are two really good strength exercises for you to do. Other one that you can try is bringing your hands up. So this is really for your shoulder muscles and your overall core strength. Taking your hands up, pushing your stomach against the pole and pulling up and up. So you're really pulling with this kind of movement, yeah? So the movement's gonna come from here up and up. I recommend using a shirt or a top because otherwise I'm gonna to stick to the pole. And make sure to change your hands so doing this again five to ten times will really really activate your shoulders so if you're a beginner and you want to do an invert i recommend starting off from a lower setting so coming here holding up to the pole pushing the hips up kick up try to grab the pole pull your knees in towards your face that makes your hips come up and try to release legs one at a time to exit, put the legs back, lower your body, and come back. The same way you can do it from a higher setting. So again, kicking up. But really, don't try to stay kicking up forever. Try to move on to the lifting part as well, because we all want to have nice, beautiful inverts. So trying it from higher, you'll come here. I kick with my outside leg, so my outside leg comes kick past the pole and if my toes go out to the pole. So your kick with this hand and go up, grab the pole, pull in, and open your legs. Come out. If you already can kick and you want to do it with a lift, then you can start off by trying to do it with bent legs. So everything's the same. Holding onto the pole, lift, 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 and straighten and come down. So now we'll be doing with bent legs, and if you can, you can try with straight legs. All the same, just now keep your legs straight. And come. So keep in mind that inverts do take time. It's an ongoing process. Don't give up if you don't get it just yet. Just keep on going, keep on trying, and you will get it because it's a base move. And you'll be basically using it everywhere. So, if you want to do a flare, let's say you can do all this, then you can start adding a flare to get an aerial invert. So, what is a flare? A flare is this. Here, open, close, and come out. As you can see, my legs will do close, open, close. So, basically, cross, open, cross. So here you start moving with your outside leg. You'll go from here to here to there. So it's on the floor, it's easier. So you'll be here, 
Open op de loeper en kruis. Ja, open op de loeper en kruis. Zo. So. In order to do this, you start off by taking the core into kind of your chest area and then you'll start to lift your bum up and a moment your hips are up, you'll start opening your legs and go up. You go up the moment you have done the cross and you start releasing your legs or opening them, then you will open them towards the sky. So, you come here, holding on, open, coming out, close. And you can add a little bit of spinning trick to make it more dramatic, so it will look like this. Thank you so much for watching, have a good time practicing and see you in the next tutorial.